That's a new dynamic caption, new cursor effect or glow effect, two more behaviors, text stroke, new pricing model, audio visualization, dynamic background, which is very nice, tiling effect and Camtasia wrap and access integration. And you can move the folder inside the program and also improve the JKL, which is the quick review mode. Okay. Okay, so Camtasia has a new version that is Camtasia 2024 with many interesting new features such as the dynamic caption, cursor glow and dynamic background, Camtasia ref and new pricing model, stuff like that. Okay, so in this video, I will cover all these new features of the program. You know that I've been using Camtasia for making tutorial video on this channel since 2017 and it's about seven years now. I produced more than 2000 tutorial video using Camtasia. Okay, so in this video, I will show you all the new feature of the program. And this is going to be a long video. So I will put the timestamp in the description for you. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, and the first change in Camtasia 2024 is the new pricing model. By the way, if you don't have Camtasia, go ahead to the link in the description to download and Give it a try, okay? Okay, and this is Camtasia online store, and you see that this is the price of Camtasia. It is 179.88 US dollar for one year, okay? And you can click here, learn more to find out more pricing plan of Camtasia, okay? And then you want to click compare plans because they have many plans for individual, for teams, and business, education, and government. Now, for personal use, we have Camtasia Essential. So it is 179.88 US dollar per year. So you will need to pay yearly. Okay, and you get a screen and camera recording, powerful video editing and instant stylized layout. And the second option for you is Camtasia plus Audiate. So Audiate is an audio editor. If you need an audio editor together with a screen recorder and video editor, you can buy Camtasia Create. And the other option is Camtasia Pro. Okay, so all the options are yearly plan. You need to pay yearly. And if you want to purchase a perpetual license of Camtasia, you can go to teams and business. Okay. In this category, you have a small team license. It is a perpetual license. That is 299 US dollar per user. And you need to pay only one time. You don't have to pay yearly. Okay. By the way, according to the information from the CEO of the company, they will remove the perpetual license in Camtasia 2025. So after that, you need to purchase the software and pay it yearly. Okay. And they have a business license here also. And be mentioned that if you want to buy any license of Camtasia, don't forget to use my 10% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so that is the first change in Camtasia 2024. Let's go to the next one, which is the new dynamic caption. Okay, and this is Camtasia 2024. So in order to use the dynamic caption, you need to have a video like this. For example, I have a talking head video. I can put it here on the timeline. Okay, and this is the original video. All right, so that is how to generate a video from text using Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. Okay, and now if I want to add dynamic caption for this video, I can select this caption button, okay? And then we can select the dynamic caption style here. Okay, this is normal caption and this is dynamic caption. And we can select one style here. For example, I can select notes and word box. I can just drag and drop it onto a timeline, put it above the video, okay, and shorten it. And do not put any background music between the line here or between the track here. Just put the dynamic caption box above your video, okay, or above the, the audio that you need to create dynamic caption and wait until it finish. Okay, and now the program finished generating dynamic caption for me. So if I want to edit the caption, I need to select the audio or the video here on the timeline. And now we can play the video here. Okay, generate, generate a video from text. So let's play the video first. So let's go to the beginning. All right, so that is how to, let's play the video. All right, so that is how to generate a video from text using Filmora 13. Okay, so I need to correct the word here. All right, so that is how to generate a video from text. So from text, I can just 
type tech here using Filmora. So we want to set for Filmora 30. Okay, we can delete this one and now Filmora we can 30. play. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know at the conversation below. Okay, that's nice, right? So that is the first new feature in Camtasia 2024. That is the dynamic caption style. And being mentioned that you have different style here, you want to use any caption. You want to just drag and drop it here on the timeline and put it above your video or above your audio. Okay, and the next new feature in Camtasia 2024 is about the cursor effect. So they add a new cursor glow effect. So let me show you about the cursor glow. So this is my cursor in my screen recording and now what if i want to add a glow around the, the the pointer or the cursor we can go to the cursor effect here and we can select the cursor effect and then we can drag and drop this one the cursor glow so just drag and drop it directly to the screen recording okay and now you want to go to the right side with the property and we have cursor glow and show cursor and now you can change the color intensity and the thickness of the glow for example i can change the color to something like yellow yeah okay yeah and i can increase the thickness of the glow also and reduce the intensity so that is about the cursor glow and the next new feature in camtasia 2024 is the, about the behavior now in Camtasia 2024, we have two more behavior that is tremble and wiggle. So let me show you about this behavior. For example, I have a annotation like this. Okay, I will drag and drop it here. So we can change the text inside like wiggle. Okay, and now we can add wiggle behavior to this annotation. So just go to behavior and then we can drag and drop the behavior directly to the annotation. Something like this. And now we will have the wiggle, wiggle behavior. So we will really like this, okay. And we can do the same for the tremble, okay. So we can drag and drop the, the annotation here. And we can drag and drop the tremble to the annotation. Okay, and this is tremble and behavior. Okay, and we can disable the wiggle. And now this is tremble. Very nice, right? And being mentioned that you can adjust the behavior here at the property also. Okay, and that is the behavior. And now we have text stroke in Camtasia 2024. For example, if we add a normal text like this using the annotation, okay? So go to annotation and then we can add a normal text like this. And at the property panel, we have the stroke option. So now it's, the stroke is black. We can make it red or stuff like that. And then we can increase the size, okay? And this is a new text stroke in Camtasia 2024. And we can reduce the opacity of the stroke also. And we mentioned that when we go to the annotation, okay, at the annotation folder, we have some preset text stroke here. For example, we can use this one, ABC, and let's change it to Jackie. So that's nice, right? And that is a new feature in Camtasia 2024. And another new feature I think is very interesting is about the dynamic background. For the dynamic background, you need to go to your media, okay? Go to your media, and then you want to select this option, library, and then select Camtasia 2024 library, okay? And find the dynamic background here. So we have more dynamic background here. There's a folder here. And then we can use any background here. For example, I can use this one, uh, flute motion, okay? Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now we have a dynamic background like this. And it is interesting here in Camtasia 2024, it's about adjustment of the dynamic background. So it is not just a video. It is not just a MP4 video. This is a customizable background. So you can customize this dynamic background. For example, I can change the color to something like green, okay? And we can play the background again, dynamic background again, okay? And we can adjust the distortion, okay? 
and change the second color to orange stuff like that okay nice right and go back to my media i have a 3d title here 3d dynamic background here also i can draw and drop it onto the timeline and then i can adjust the zoom and the color and the height and also the angle and the speed increase the speed of the dynamic background so it can be something like this okay the next new feature in camtasia we are thinking very interesting is the tiling effect so tiling mean meaning that you can create a, a looping icon on the background okay something like this let's go to camtasia 2024 and then i can see like a an icon okay go to icon and okay so i can okay so i can use this arrow so i can just run drop it right here and reduce it okay and now i want to create a tiling effect for this icon i can just go back to my visual effect at the visual effect i can find tiling so this one so we can just run and drop it here directly to the icon and now we have a tiling effect like this very nice right and actually we can adjust the the icon here with this i think this is a slider or stuff like that so we can just use this line to adjust it like this and like this interesting right and we can rotate the icon okay and resize it so this is the tiling effect in camtasia and if you want to move the icon here you can add animation okay i can add animation to it so for example i can move it to to the right so it will be something like this appear and then move to the right okay so that is the tiling effect i think it's interesting and there is another option in camtasia 2024 where you can move all this folder for example if you want to move this annotation to the to top of the menu you can just click it and then move it to top and you want to move it back so <laughs> i think it's nice by the way there's an option for us to rearrange our folder okay and the last thing I want to mention in this video is about Camtasia Ref, which is very interesting feature of Camtasia. After you finish the screen recording, you have an option to 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 apply the effect and and also adjust the style of your screen recording. So let me show you about Camtasia Ref. Okay, for example, we can use a screen recording here. If we have a screen recording here, we can just right click at the screen recording and then we have an option to import to Camtasia Ref with Camtasia Review, okay? And we can just click here. Okay, and this is Camtasia Ref and the first thing we can select the layout or the, the style of our video. So there are many styles here, okay? Uh, we have a normal video with our background and then the screen recording and we have a circle video circle webcam video and then we have a background and then we have a screen recording here so there are many options for you okay so you can select any option for example we can select this one side by side or this one this one this one but normally i think this one look fine and that is for the layout and for the background we have many options for the the background also the background of the video okay and we can change the background and for the effect we have some option for the drop shadow corner routing and border and reflection and also we have cursor effect okay something like this and being mentioned that you can also add this effect at the editing window also maybe we can select a cursor cursor highlight stuff like that okay and for the filter for the video and the camera we can select a filter here and after that we can select edit in camtasia or we can just export the the video okay so if we select edit in camtasia we we'll go back to our camtasia and put it at the end of the video okay and this is my draft edit using camtasia rep one two three.
Okay, so I think the video is long enough and I already covered everything about the new feature of Camtasia 2024. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know at the comment section below. And if you want to jump to any part of the video, just go ahead to the description. And don't forget to try Camtasia and let me know if you like this new version or not. Okay, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.